Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for today. It's the 11th, the 11th of October, so the 11th to the 12th. Um, this is for all signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Typically, my readings are love readings, but, you know, sometimes they don't turn out that way. So, let's just see what we have here. Ooh, oh, two sixes, <laughs> six, six. So this is about choices. It's about balance. It's about peace. It's what, what can I do to, to keep things balanced and harmonious? It's the journey towards, you know, balance, walking away, you know, tra this is transitioning and being recognized. You guys are you're headed in a new direction towards something that is going to be more fulfilling than whatever it is you're leaving behind. You're leaving the confusion behind. You're leaving the indecisiveness behind. Definitely finding some strength, right? He's got like a crystal ball in his hand. It's like he sees, he knows it's time. He's been told it's time. So I think you guys have been told that it's time to transition from whatever it is. Another six, 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 six. And a lot of people have this notion that six, six, six is a devil number. It absolutely is not. 666 is a time of reevaluation. It's a spiritual wake up call, okay? It's time to get your life back on track when you see 666. And somebody has been clinging to the past, but not getting what they want from the past. And if the time is now to transition from the past. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is the change. I mean, there's a big, there is a change here. Somebody is going through a big change where they are definitely moving in a new direction, big time. Congratulations. Okay, this is good luck. This is good fortune. Whatever is happening right now is absolutely going to bring you victory and success like you haven't seen in a while. You know, this is the Wheel of Fortune is the change. It's a blessing. It's the change that you need. It's faded. It's time. The time is now for this. Personal freedom. It is personal freedom. That's for darn sure. Look at the tens, okay? Ten, ten, ten. Then we have six, six, six. Tens are completions. I mean, this is what this is. And you're going to find more abundance and security and stability in this next chapter than you even can can fathom. Seriously. It's like there's there's going to be a lot more excitement. It's going to be more fitting for you. It's... It's just going to make you feel like you're finally secure. You guys are being freed or you're you're freeing yourself from something that was very painful. Very painful, right? I mean it was. But somebody's found the courage and the confidence and the strength to stand up for themselves. And do what they know that they got to do. I know what I got to do. I've been told what I got to do. Because where I'm at, there's no wish fulfillment. There's no abundance. And this is clinging to the past. Somebody has clung to the past and they haven't got what they wanted by doing that. And it's because that wasn't. it's not meant to be. The past is not meant to be. 
the, the, there's a change of course. Somebody is, is, has reevaluated this whole situation and, and because they are allowing, you know, with this reevaluation, they are allowing this transition to happen. It's happening. It is definitely happening. It's happening. Probably pretty quickly. Here's the preparation, the three of wands. It's like it took a quite a quite a long time to prepare, to get ready, to to feel, to accept, to clear, to cleanse, everything. It took quite a while to get ready for this change that you knew was coming. So, you know, with this Nine of Wands here, it's like somebody has really gained the strength, okay? The Nine of Wands really is about strength as well. It is. So there is definitely a lot of strength that has been gained through suffering. There is. And I think there's been a period of time where somebody was feeling a lot of, you know, poor, poor me, you know, with the Nine of Cups reversed, down in the dumps, um... But in here, this is another card of strength. So there's a lot. Somebody has really gained a lot of strength. And I know I'm repeating myself. And there'll be some ding dong. I'm sorry to say that. That says, oh, you keep repeating myself. Well, that's what the message is. This, this Today's message is about you have gained the strength to allow, to put your head up high, your self-respect, your self-confidence to move in a new direction. And because you have gained the strength to do so and you have decided that you're going to allow this change to happen. You free yourself from this mental turmoil that you've been holding on to. You, you remove yourself from the mental conflict. You know, you uh, dissolve it. You let it dissolve. You bring back security and stability to your life. It's coming. It's coming in the future because you are allowing one cycle to end. It's like you're not trying to impose your free will to the point of, Controlling it, you know, somebody is, I think that somebody here is deciding to head in a new direction. Finally, you know, finally, it's like the last straw, you know what I mean? I think somebody has reached the point of no return and, and now they're prepared. Now they're, they've done the work and they're prepared to allow the universe to and fate to step in you know there's a transformation here the chariot is a transformation card somebody is allowing this transformation instead of fighting it so congratulations and you're and because you're allowing it allowing it the peace harmony balance is going to come back to your life and abundance and security so i feel like somebody has given up the fight the fight um, with the universe, you know, fight with the divine plan. And, and now because they have given up that fight, they found the strength to just, you know, master their emotions and, and head out. The universe is in tune with that. The universe is like, okay, all right, since you've decided you're ready to get your life back on track, you know, we're going to help. So let's see what else comes up. Let's get some clarifiers here. There's definitely a transition, a change, okay? There's a big, big change, a change that is very positive. It's going to bring you something very, very positive. Success. I mean, these cards are both victory and success with a lot of abundance and security. So that's what's coming after you, you know, this is liberation and walk away. So you, you liberate yourself, you walk away, you turn your back, you allow the transition, victory, success, abundance, security, um, come back to you after you have been down the dumps and clinging to the past for so long.
taking back control, restoring control over your life, breaking those chains, removing yourself from the toxic situation. It's like, no, seriously, seriously, somebody is, is, is totally, this is a release, it's personal freedom. It is. It's like I am freeing myself from these demons. I'm allowing it. No longer going to be manipulated and controlled and and lied to or accepting the lies. I'm no longer going to be oblivious to the truth, okay? Not going to let the little devil whispering in my ear lie to me, hold me back. Not going to listen to that devil anymore. Yeah, I feel like somebody is is taking back their power. Yep, seeing things clearly. I see it clearly now. No more confusion, no more illusion. I'm stepping out of this illusion. The moon reversed. Next to the chariot, it's like somebody is getting a reality check. And it is because they have decided, I don't know what happened. They had some sort of awakening, right? They're seeing the truth finally about the past. That's what this is. Somebody is finally seeing the truth about the past. Somebody's heading in a new direction completely. Because wherever they're at, there was no growth, there was no excitement, there was no more fertility, right? If there's, if there's no more fertility there, if, if nothing can grow, there's no need of staying. It's been delayed for quite some time, right? Somebody has been delaying it, but I do believe that there is there's change that is happening. I think somebody is walking away, being practical. It's time for me to be practical. There's no more growth. There's no more. There's no more growth. There's, you, I've been, it's been a lie. It has. It has been a lie. It has. And now somebody is, is deciding to just get out. To be practical. No, I won't. I'm going to clarify this uh, Three of Wands and Wheel of Fortune. If that's the preparation. I think that you have been getting prepared for this. You knew it was coming. You knew that this release, this moment of change was going to come. You just was waiting for that nudge from the universe, you know, waiting for that help, right? It's like there's some sort of almost like a death here, right? There's like a death of the old. Indecisive. In denial. Avoided the truth for quite quite a while, right? Somebody was avoiding wearing the mask, blocking the truth, even though they knew, because they were getting prepared, they knew that this mask was going to have to come off, right? You did. You did. But I think some of you stuck it out. You, you were like, you know, I can wait. I can wait because it's destiny. I can wait because it's destiny. But that was a lie. Okay. So somebody has been waiting for something in their past that was an illusion. Didn't lead to wish fulfillment. There was no more growth. But it feels as though now they may be coming to the realization that it's time to move out of it. But here, I mean, this, this is the Two of Swords. This is still in denial. Trying to avoid this loss, right? 
trying to avoid it, trying to do everything in your power to pretend that this is going to come back around when the fact of the matter is is that there's a new direction there's a new there's a new change that is needed something new nine of pentacles reversed not wanting to be alone right somebody has been staying in a situation because they, they didn't realize what what the blessings were they didn't realize what the what they were worth even you know I think that somebody has stayed in a situation clinging to something from the past not realizing that they'd be better off on their own, they'd be better off enjoying their life, you know, getting their shit back together, getting to the point of single happiness, you know, independence, you know, independent. When you get to that point of happy independence, that's when your whole world changes, okay? It is. It is. But right now, somebody is just not here with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. They're like, they're not allowing the abundance that they deserve to flow into their life to come around that's like the the uh the destiny can't bring it in because you're blocking it you're blocking good things from coming in by not knowing what you're worth not loving yourself not being grateful for the lessons not allowing trying to control the whole nine yards by not allowing closure nines are about closure we got these nines here so I feel as though, you know, somebody has not wanted to close the door from the past when the past was already dead, right? So they were blocking their good luck, blocking their good fortune, blocking their abundance for quite some time. But now I feel like they've come to the, a point of reality. Another nine. So you have three nines, three tens, and three sixes. Nines are about closure. It's time for closure. It's a sign to move on when you see 999. It's time to treat yourself with compassion. Tens are completion. Completion, completion, completion. It's, it's over. Something is over. It's a transition. You guys are transitioning from one chapter to another. So why keep clinging? With them 666s, six, 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 it's a time of reevaluation. It's time to get your life back on track. So I think that's what this is about, is somebody is coming to the realization that this cycle is over. It's time for me to restore control, get my life back on track, and close this deal of the past. For good. For good. And when you do that, the Wheel of Fortune is going to bring you something better. It is. It's going to bring you something that is better suited for you. Whatever is happening is bringing you what you are supposed to get. But you got to trust that. You have to believe. You have to have faith. You have to believe that whatever you're being told, okay, remember I said he's got a crystal ball. Whatever you're being told, is the truth, right? And so a lot of you, a lot of you are in denial, though. You are, because this is a card of denial. Some of you aren't believing in yourself, and you need to believe in yourself. I feel as though your in your inner guide is trying to give you messages. They are, and many times you are are getting those messages mixed up with your feelings. You know, sometimes you let your feelings um, get the best of you. I feel like today is a day of taking back control, restoring control, transitioning from one phase to another. 
where there's been a lack of abundance, a lack of growth, a lack of fertility. Somebody had been living in some sort of illusion with the past. And perhaps now they're coming to this, they've had this, or they're going through a period of reevaluation. And it, it appears that this closure of a chapter is about to happen. Now, what about the future? So today's a day of closure. Today's a day of closure. One more card. One more card. One more card. Today is a day of closure. Which is going to bring abundance, finally. It's going to change. There's a big change coming. A transition is coming. One door is being closed. One chapter is being closed. Now, this could be a chapter with a family member. You may feel like you are at a, you are, are at a complete loss with this closure, but it's not a loss. It's not a loss. This closure that is happening is, is making you stronger. It has made you stronger. It's been an ongoing process. This closure that's been happening, it hasn't been like an overnight thing. It's something you've been getting prepared for. And I feel as though now it's time to take off the mask and stop denying that something isn't meant to be. And it's time for it to end, whatever it is, because the universe is bringing you something more abundant, whatever that is. One more card. Another nine. Release. Release. Nines are closure. <laughs> that just clarified. It is. It is. So somebody is getting the closure that they need releasing letting go of the guilt letting go of the sadness letting go of the despair one more could have to do with a pisces cancer scorpio not, it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be anybody. They're all here, okay? Everybody's here. But this is about opening your heart. Closing the door. It's almost a fantasy. I don't know where that came from. But he's very, you know, he is about fantasy. He really is. He's got a lot of fantasies, and fantasy just came to me. It's like closing the door to the fantasy. So, you know, I really feel as though somebody is closing a chapter in their life today or tomorrow whatever it's closure 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 prepared and it's the it's like you you didn't know this was coming because you did you did but you tried to block it here's the preparation here's the blockage trying to hold on to something in the past that has no growth anyway today is a day of closure taking back your power restoring control headed in the right directions time to get my life back on track that's where the mindset's at today. Do I see new love coming in? No, because you're closing something today. It's closure day. And it's really not realistic. And this reading won't be for everybody. It's not realistic to, you know, closure is needed. That's reality, okay? That's the reality of it. So, yeah. Today is a day of closure and completion. And it's a good thing. Okay, it is a really, really good thing because it's going to bring you something better. Okay, this is good. This is real good fortune. It really, really is. This wheel is spinning to bring you something better. 
Now with that hair font that I had, trust, believe. So there's, you know, you could have, I mean, it's like, this is destiny. It is. Destiny is at work here. This change, of course, that is happening is destined to happen at this time, right now. For a reason. Believe it. Trust it. No more questions. Personal freedom. Personal freedom right here. Transition. The end. 